Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. These rosters are absolutely loaded. Filthy amount of talent. Let's see what's in store for this hunt matchup. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Bruins have won the draw, and we are now underway. From the right side and up the middle. Olympic stick handling in his own zone. Fox is moving it ahead. Great heads up play with the stick by Terry. And now he tries to get it across to Hagel. And that's deflected. The Bruins have it now. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Ambrose grabs the puck behind the net. Grabs it in his own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the puck at the point. Picked up along the wall by Hagel. Takes a shot. And he had an answer with that save. Hagel's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net but finds the puck and could have lost it but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. He was totally locked in on that play. Moves it quickly over to Butcher. Here's a shot! Missed the net! Oh, that would have tied it right there! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? When you're trying to pick a corner, the goalie set to position. Sometimes this is the result. You miss one. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. And the pass is picked off. Oh, stick save and a few. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Fires it on net. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick pass across to Burroughs. On the attack along the boards. Shot. Play gets all of it with the paddle. Another stop by the goaltender. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Denies him. He got all of it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Past the midway mark of the frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Oilers moving ahead. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Passes it over to Van Riemsdyk. Nice zone entry from the middle. Sends it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. Long pass across the ice. The Bruins have it against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Raquel. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Moves it in front. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. The Oilers will play from the defensive zone. Oh, textbook put check to turn that over. The Bruins will play it against the boards. Moves it to the middle. Couldn't complete the pass. Puck picked up by Lucic. Taken by Besser. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Feeds it up ahead. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Giordano. Slip feed. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position. 
position for the start of period number two. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Bruins have talked about being a possession-oriented team, having a lot of motion and support the puck carrier quickly. They've done that extremely effectively through the first period. They weren't rewarded for it, so they just need to continue through the second, continue with that game plan. He got all of that hit. Tries to feed it over to Ovechkin. Forces the turnover. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Fires it, and there's the save. Quick feed to Terry. Here they are on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Poulin's won the draw, and her squad will go to work. Moves it to Hemsky. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Launches him into the boards. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Shot. It's in. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and you know that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beat the goaltender. Edmonton's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, oh, yeah, they've got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Quick shot! Oh, he got paddled by Swayman! You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Hemsky's got it now deep inside his own end. It's a two-on-one. Sticks inside. Great save on the play. Oh, my goodness. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Edmonton's ahead, 1-0. Puck grabbed by Dolly. Oh, a save on the play. Whoa. One. A save is a save, James, and this one rattles off of his cage, and that's going to be a tough one, especially years ago. I'm telling you, the Mass are a lot better today. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. one nothing the score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shot tipped. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a chance. Denies them in close. Here he is on the redirect. And there's another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. The Bruins have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances. Just no finish. And they trail here in period two. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Now a quick pass to Heatley. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Bruins gain possession. Picked up along the boards by McCann. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. Sends the pass over. Moving into the attacking zone. Works it across to Orpik. And that's intercepted by Butcher. Sends it in deep. From the place 99 made famous. In 
front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Poulin's won the faceoff here in the defensive zone. Edmonton's playing it through center. Slides it to Yandel. Puck picked up in the open ice. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Tries to get the puck over to Johnston. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Grabs the puck. Edmonton's got it across the line. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. And the middle frame almost done. And he takes a shot, and he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. Knocked away with the stick by Ambrose. Takes a shot, and there's the save on the play. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. It's just a matter of translating it into offense. Taken along the wall by Terry. Quick pass to Kuznetsov. Skates on the cross. The Bruins desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back. And you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. And the puck is scooped up here to the open ice by Ovechkin. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. One side save. Save made by the goalie. Spooner's lugging the puck. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. That's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack. Really under siege. And you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stop that champions are made of. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Oh, he just got enough of that one to keep it out. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Takes it to the front. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's 2-1. Johnson's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Edmonton's got possession here in the neutral zone. Henske's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Let's get the call here. 
A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer here in a one-goal deficit. You've got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Power play in, it comes out for the face-off. Getting their first power play opportunity in the game, and here comes the top power play unit in the league. They're so dangerous and effective. It is extremely difficult to fend against them. And manages to clear the zone. Takes the pass on the left wing. Scores! Here it is! That's an excellent shot. It does go in, James, but the goaltender trying to make the highlight reel save with his club hand isn't able to corral it. It goes in. Chris Netsov's won the draw at center. Takes the pass. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. With the steal. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Shot. Scores! Well, don't turn this off just yet. We've got ourselves a game. Well, deficit of only one now. Their opponent is on their heels, and now they're playing with a sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. Man, does he ever pull this deep off with conviction? I mean, confidence in Swagger. He knew what he was going to do. Goaltender didn't, and he fills the net. The Bruins' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Johnson's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Takes a slap shot from the point. Big save by the goaltender. Here's a chance. Denies him again. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Puts it on net. Turns it aside. Carlos moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a chance. Easily turned aside by Flurry. Grabs the puck in the corner. Turns another Oh man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Elias has the puck against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Darlene. And that puck leaves the zone. And he loses control here. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck to Elias. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Bruins coaching staff has to be frustrated. Their players have played well tonight, but they just can't finish on some of these chances, and we're running out of time late in the third. Puck scooped up by Coughlin. Picked up along the wall by Hagel. Here's a chance in front. Scores! And they tuck it in. Hang the on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. The Bruins win possession here in the open ice. Puck picked up by Terry. The Bruins played along the wing. Here he is on the tip. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bruins make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. They win the draw and go on the attack. That's loved by Fleury. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Oh, that's poked away in the offensive zone by McCann. And that goes off a stick and off to the side. Moves it quickly over to Hemsky. She handles the feed. Oh, what save! And look at this. They really ratcheted up the intensity here. Here's the pitch to Johnston. Here's another shot. Shot! There's a stop! Flurry's been so consistent throughout 
tonight's game. And, I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. The Bruins continue to trail here late in this third period despite several scoring chances tonight. Steps in front of that one. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Sure, the lesson tonight, it's not the quantity of shots, it's the quality. That's what I used to say because I only got one a game. I'm telling you, James, it's about the quality of the shot and also disguising your shot, being very deceptive. So the goaltender has a difficult time reading it. 